the deadlift. Okay, so today I'm going to go over some really key tips to ensure your deadlift is safe and technically awesome. Now the deadlift I'll be discussing today is one with a fairly light weight, so it's um, not uh, geared towards lifting massive weights in the gym, but it, the same principles will apply, but uh, keep in mind this is for use at home. So there is six tips I'm going to give you today, and number one is to make sure we lock our shoulder blades in place. So when you lock your shoulder blades in place, it holds your whole back strong and stable, and it keeps the whole platform stable. So that's number one, get those shoulder blades back. Number two is we're going to initiate the de deadlift by pushing our hips back into the back of the room. And so that means we're not reaching down with our arms or um, leaning with our back. It's our hips that slide back and that allow us to go down. As our hips slide back, our back stays straight. We do not have a curve in the back and holding those shoulder blades in will help with that. Now number three is we're going to keep our arms close to the legs. Now in the gym, I see this technique go out the window a lot where people's arms are flying away from the body and that puts a huge pressure on the upper spine. So we wanna make sure we've got like a nice triangle picture with our arms pretty close to our legs the whole way through so that um, the hands never get very far away from the thighs or shins. Number four, you're going to go as deep as your flexibility allows. Now that means that some of you may be getting the weight to the ground, but if it means that you have to curve your back to get there, that's past your, your point of flexibility. So your back staying flat, your hips gliding back, and um, running the, the weight down the legs. Uh, when you feel that really tight point that you, if you go any further, your technique might go wrong, that's, your, that's as far as you go. So I aim for about the middle of my shins. I have pretty long, tight legs, and so if you're um, short and flexible, maybe you're getting it onto the ground. But know where your boundaries are. So then, we have number five. Now keep your tummy firm. Now with um, big lifting in the gym, there's special bracing techniques, but in this um, instance, we're just gonna make sure we've got a little a belly button slightly drawn in as we go down into the deadlifts, as we're going down in the motion. And then, when we come up, so number six. Now this bit's important. So number six, we're going to uh, squeeze our glutes and push, as we squeeze our glutes we're pushing our hips through and it's like we're trying to push our hips through a brick wall, they're going to hit a brick wall uh, and then so we squeeze our glutes, drive our hips forward and then we breathe out at the same time. When we breathe out, remember as we breathe out our belly button will draw in tighter and our pelvic floor will lift and really support our back. So those are the key tips. Uh, so we've got number one, lock the shoulder blades in place. Number two, we're going to drive our hips back to initiate the exercise. Number three, we're going to have our arms close to our legs as we go down into the deadlift. And number four, we go, we're going to go as deep as our flexibility allows. Number five, we're going to keep our tummy nice and firm. And number six, as we come up, we're going to squeeze our glutes, drive our hips through and then breathe out to finish. Get this technique nailed and because this um, will flow on through future workouts and you will be awesome and your results will be amazing.